Libra. You need to know this right now for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Libra, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So... Libra, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Libra, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition that maybe you need to walk away, or you're searching your emotions and using your intuition about maybe returning here. Libra, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So listen, Libra, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords. If I said, I'm sorry, for Libra, I'm sorry. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Libra, I don't know why I said this on my mind. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Libra, clarify the Eight of Swords. For Libra, it is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Libra, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now listen, Libra, you can tell me that you're stuck on whether or not you want to be single or not. Because maybe you're just searching your emotions and using your intuition concerning the whole situation. Or you're telling me that you consider yourself single. You're blocking them and you're walking away. Libra, you have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. 
So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. Clarify the high priestess for Libra. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Libra, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Now Libra, you could be at a crossroads and using your intuition on whether or not you can forgive something here. You could tell me that you're using your intuition and you're at a crossroads on what to do concerning you guys' commitment, whether or not to become single or not. Libra, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Libra, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Five of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Five of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with you, Libra, or Taurus, the Empress. The Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Libra, this is you. Clarify the Empress. For Libra, clarify the Empress. For Libra, what about Libra? What about Libra? Clarify the Empress. For Libra, it is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Libra, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. Clarify strength for Libra. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' as a relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Libra, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment. For Libra, clarify judgment. 
for Libra. Clarify judgment for Libra. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Libra. Clarified temperance for Libra. Clarified temperance for Libra. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Libra, you can tell me that there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Wands. For Libra, it is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now, Libra, this person could be apologizing, wanting forgiveness and a second chance, trying to heal things with you, but you're still hurt, mourning, and disappointed here. You guys could have had some type of rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and you're like, you know what, I'm still hurt and disappointed, so you're kind of keeping them at bay, kind of standoffish here. You could also tell me that they're trying to apologize and you're restraining yourself from this person. You're backing up off of this person, setting some type of boundaries because they were out being a player getting cookies somewhere. This could be the reason why you left in the first place and the reason why you're at a crossroads on whether or not you can forgive. However, Libra, you can tell me that it's you feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played and it's you wanting to apologize here, musting the strength and courage to come in and do so. Wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. So I wonder if you're thinking long and hard about returning to apologize to this person. Libra, you have the Knight of Cups again. So like I said, they could be coming into you or you're coming into them to apologize. Or come in with some type of romantic gesture. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. 
Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Libra, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now Libra, they could be coming in to apologize to you and you're saying, you know what? I still just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. I just want to be single and you're just blocking, blocking them because you can't get over this. You're still hurt. Libra, you can tell me that they're apologizing and you're deciding to go ahead and just let bygones be bygones, but you're setting some type of boundaries here and maybe you're going to return. However, Libra, you can tell me it's you wanting to come in to apologize, hoping that you guys can put it behind you because you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played and you may want to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. You could be thinking long and hard about returning to apologize and make things right. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Libra. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, you're dealing with a karmic? Are you dealing with a karmic, Libra? I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. And it says, I left you before you could leave me. I left you before you could leave me. Libra, you need to know this right now for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.